Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. Today's project is this Yardman lawn vacuum. And the problem is, is that I want to use this thing to pick up the leaves from this fall, but the tires are completely off the wheel. I need to do a more permanent fix. This thing sits most of the year doing absolutely nothing. And after some time, the air will leak out of the tires. And if I move it with flat tires, the bead will unseat from the wheel. I then have to reseat them, which is a huge pain. I'm going to do exactly what I did in a previous video when I had tire issues, but on a different piece of equipment. I'm going to go ahead and put tire slime in it and see if it holds up like the other one did. This unit is too big to put up on a table to work on the tire. So what I'm going to do is tilt the whole unit kind of at a 45 degree angle so I can work on one tire at a time. I would go ahead and start by removing the protective hubcap on the wheel, except this one is already missing it, exposing all the inner workings. Let's go ahead and start by removing the retaining pin off of the axle, followed by the gear in the wheel, and then we'll work the wheel off the axle. The self-propel system on this unit is really interesting. It has these spring-loaded paws that work against the gear to help drive it forward, but allows you to pull the unit back in reverse by hand. You can also see a lot of cracking in the tire. It's been sitting for a long time flat. If this doesn't work out, I'm definitely going to need to replace the tire. I'm going to go ahead and wash this tire real quick because there's a lot of dirt and leaves inside the tire. What I'm going to do next is wire brush the wheel where the tire bead is going to sit. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and clean the dirt off of the wheel and the tire with a paper towel. And once that's done, go ahead and repeat the same procedure on the other side of the wheel. What you'll do next is put a ratchet strap around the tire and then squeeze the tire around the wheel with the strap. Now go ahead and put some air into the tire until the strap tries to break. Then go ahead and remove the strap and finish putting air into the tire and then the bead will be set on the wheel. To put the tire slime in the valve stem, you'll have to remove the valve stem core with a special tool. I want to put four or five ounces into this tire. Go ahead and put whatever you want. Just follow the instructions if you don't have a preference. Now go ahead and replace the valve stem core and put air into the tire. At this point, it's either going to stop leaking or you're actually going to hear where the leaks are still coming from. I can hear the air leaking from the bottom of the tire, so what I'll do is try to move the slime to where the leak is and hopefully it stops. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel on an extension and spin it to try to make sure that the slime inside the tire is coated evenly all the way around. Now it's time to go ahead and reinstall the wheel back onto the axle, follow that by the gear and then the retaining clip. And then once that's done, go ahead and repeat the same on the other side. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you found it very informative. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.